to another video. In today's video, it is something uh, we've been working on, honestly, for a couple months now. Uh, I got my boy Nick right over here. He's gonna be talking about a few things they're gonna be offering here at Natty Auto Parts. One of those being uh, a coding service. We are finally gonna be offering a coding service for BMWs. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me, Nor, where do I get my stuff coded? And I'll be like, well, the guy I knew, this guy, uh, you know, doesn't have time for that stuff no more. So, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, it's not the same, bro. It's literally, I've been telling you about it. I don't know. This is the only guy that's been helping out for all these years, and he decided so graciously to offer the service to you guys, and he's gonna be offering it here at Natty Auto Parts. Um, so that's gonna be pretty awesome. So yeah, we're gonna be offering some coding services. We're also gonna be offering uh, key making services, uh, only the key fobs, uh, no key cutting, so only key programming for E chassis and F chassis. In terms of coding, we'll be offering it for E chassis, F chassis, and select uh, G series, like like the Supra and a few other cars. You know, headlight coding, a bunch of stuff, transmissions. I mean, he's gonna get into all kind of details right now. Uh, so what exactly in terms of coding are we gonna be doing here? So we're talking about E-series coding, F-series coding, so module replacements, uh, deletes, so maybe your adaptive headlights are fail, we can code that out. TPMS deletes, use module that maybe you buy from Naughty Auto Parts code that in for you, you don't need to go anywhere else. Custom coding, like maybe you want the European flashers on your car or a different alarm sound, we can do that. Head unit replacements and coding. So if your head units failed, we can do all the security codes involved with that, get a full factory replacement. We can also do mods, like if you have a MBT Evo, you want you have iDrive 4, the old interface, flash it for the new interface, ID5, ID6, full screen Apple CarPlay. We can even do DME cloning, DME coding and replacement, transmission coding replacement, EGS resets. Pretty much, if you can think of it, we can do it for E and F series cars. Everything like BMW related that you guys can possibly think of, like, oh, I just replaced my transmission and it doesn't work, needs coding. Again, stuff we can get sorted, um, whether that's getting new headlights onto a newer BMW and it will not turn on, will not work, whether that's an M4 CS, Supra, whatever, we can get that stuff. So pretty much everything you just said, um, we can get coded on a BMW. Anything you can think of on a BMW that doesn't work because it needs coding, call us up uh, here at Natty Auto Parts. That being said, uh, this empty right over here is one of those prime examples of one of those custom builds that we actually did here. And uh, this car literally needed a bunch of coding to actually operate uh, the way it should be from factory because this car never came from factory. E91 M3, never did. But all the infotainment, there's zero lights in the dash, all the, everything in the screen, it screams wagon. Um, when you run the actual VIN number of the car, everything goes exactly the way it should work. And that's what we aim for here. So shout out to Nick. He's gonna be helping us uh, get that kind of stuff sorted. Um, so when you reach out to us, he's actually gonna be the one that's actually gonna be providing the service to you guys. But you guys will be coming down here at Natty Auto Parts. We'll also be helping you guys uh, just getting your car, you know, set up, things like that. Make it super easy for you guys. Literally just pull up, we'll plug it in. Nick will take care of you. We will, we will be doing this kind of service on appointment only just because something like this, we do need to figure out a time that works for him and also works for us. So we'll probably end up doing some kind of like booking app. Uh, once you actually go through there, we'll, we'll have all of our time slots. You book through there, you choose a service you guys wanna do, and then we'll go ahead and, uh, you know, be ready for that service. So some cars that we're working on today is Jonathan's E92 M3, and we actually have an M4 CS back there as well. We're gonna be coding as well. But uh, first things first, so for this car, we actually got a few things coded because Nick just flew down here, uh, helped us set up everything. The first couple of things, we coded out the TPMS. That is something that's just super buggy with all these cars. Um, a lot of the modules end up failing, a lot of the sensors end up failing. It's just not really worth replacing. So coding it out, it's a simple and easy thing. And uh, the car still has a flat tire monitor system, so it's still tell me it's a flat tire. It's just the TPMS itself, it, that stupid annoying light will just officially be gone. Uh, so just less lights on the dash. The adaptive headlights on this car as well. One of the modules did fail, and that is again, very, very, very common for E9X cars. Um, and either it's something internally with the headlight or it's the module. So either one of those, not really a cheap thing to repair. You can go ahead and just get that coded out as well. Everything will still function, it just the headlights won't turn and there will be no more errors on the dashboard. Again, just something if you're trying to get all the errors off your dashboard and not constantly have to deal with that, we offer that service. So anything BMW related, we do offer that. And something else that these cars also have a problem with is the EDC system. This one in particular, thankfully, does not have an EDC issue as of right now. But if you have EDC faults or you, you swapped over coolovers onto your car and you have an EDC car and it's throwing an EDC fault and it's super annoying, it's again, it's one of those things if you do some mods to your car and you're trying to get rid of those faults, those annoying faults, that's the stuff we can actually get coded out as well and just makes life a whole lot easier. And coming around right over here is an M4 CS. This is actually my brother's M4 CS we ended up rebuilding here on the channel. Um, this one actually came together so, so, so nicely. Zero lights on the dashboard, but something from factory that's super annoying is the Apple CarPlay. It literally comes with a little half screen. It's super, I don't even know. When I saw that, I was like, 
Come on, man, there's no way to expand this thing. Apparently you can in the software. So we're gonna go ahead and do some coding. So coming around to the interior of this car, we have the Apple CarPlay right over here. This is an OEM Apple CarPlay. OEM, for some reason, from factory does not come full screen. So we're gonna go ahead and do is code in full screen and just get rid of this like huge black bar over here because we don't really care about that. We wanna be able to see the maps full screen it's gonna look a whole lot better this bad boy right over here um i just remembered uh he only has one key comfort access uh we can obviously do regular keys but also comfort access keys so let's go ahead and make two keys for this bad boy so coming out over here guys we do have a new key comfort access key it is an aftermarket key with an oem logo does look like the real deal and does look super mint and it does function like oem this is johnson's only key so we're gonna go ahead and make him an extra key because if he ever loses his key he'll be in a tough situation but having two is always always good brand new key guys on me Jonathan has his OEM so on him right there so the you reason. stay in there yes. bro so brand new key guys let's test out the comfort access put our hands through here just like that beautiful getting inside the car actually let's keep the hand the key right here give it a startup just like that so I'm talking about boys just like that guys, full screen Apple CarPlay. That's what I'm talking about. This is the next day guys. We're actually getting a few more things coded on a few other different cars. This is actually a Flipper 330 I ended up picking up and we did a manual swap because we had two manual transmissions in stock at the time. We already sold one of them. The other one got thrown into this 330i because of a transmission issue. And now we're just pretty much getting the car coded. So for those of you guys who have done manual swaps and don't know how to do the coding section, that is something we offer here as well. Any manual swap coding, we do that, so that's pretty sick. This car also has adaptive headlight faults. We put in two headlights, brand new headlights, Lux Angel Eyes, the modules. We actually got them from good working cars as well, but one of them just took a dump and we don't really wanna take that out. So again, with adaptive headlights, they always fail. We're just gonna go ahead and get that coated out. We will tell the next owner of this car that we did coat it out, but he will thank us for it because they are super pain in the butt. What we're also doing is we're actually just going through all the codes to make sure there's anything else that needs coating on this car and just trying to get it to factory as possible. This thing already passed smog, so it is good to go. We're just waiting on the title and just trying to, again, make everything perfect on this car and get everything coated so it works the way it should. All right, you guys, so we left off the video with the 330i, getting some coding done on the 330i E90 that we did. We ended up selling that car uh, not too long ago. Currently, we have Naz from ProTech Auto. I'll go ahead and throw up their Instagram right now. And he brought by his Supra to get some coding done. Nick, uh, who you guys saw earlier in the video, went ahead and coded this here at the shop. So as you guys saw from that B-roll, he ended up coding out a few things. He coded out some EDC faults uh, since the car has some coilovers on it and no longer has EDC, so the EDC faults are now gone. And then also he coded out something to do with the radar sensor. So Naz recently replaced the radar sensor and Nick went ahead and coded it. So Nora's gonna go ahead and take the Supra on a quick test drive, make sure everything's good. All right guys, so we just got permission from the customer to take his car on the block to see if the active cruise works. We can pretty much code things in, but things that need calibration that have to be done at the dealer because uh, it's kind of like leveling headlights, like break and line inspection. Uh, to level headlights, you need mirrors and stuff like that. It's a separate job. For us, we can just code in uh, the, the radar. Um, so at this point, we're gonna take it in, it's 50-50 shot. It needs calibration, doesn't need calibration, most likely needs calibration, but we asked him if we could test drive it and see if he got lucky. So, about to find out. Yeah, about to find out, let's go. But the EDC got coded out, we're good to go on that as well. So you guys saw earlier, we got a few cars coded here at Natty Auto Parts. I'm super happy that we're finally offering this coding service because so many of you guys over all these years were asking me, Nor, where do you get your cars coded at? I kinda had a gatekeep on that because the guy that did it had a full-time job and he didn't have time to help y'all, which I'm sorry, but he always had time to help you, man. Long story short, I convinced him for y'all. So now he's doing it here for you guys. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start with like basically a base fee. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get into that like just right now because I don't really wanna hide pricing in case those, you know, it's, it could be in your budget, could be out of your budget. I don't want you guys to like just be scared to ask. Our base is gonna be 120. That's pretty much starting. I, I think it gets you what, like an That's hour? An hour's worth. Is hour worth of coding. And, and typically, and $60 for 30 minutes after. Typically any job can pretty much get done in the first hour. So for example, if you want to code in your navigation system, if you wanted to code out TPMS, if you wanted to code out EDC or any faults, even if you put in like Sparco seats and you want to code out the airbag light, whatever that may be, even two of those things combined, sometimes that can be in under an hour. So pretty much most things can get done 
for that flat fee, which is a pretty good deal. We have a bunch of other coating as well. If you guys want to buy transmissions from us and have them pre-coated to your VIN, so as soon as you slap it in there, it would just run. And we have a bunch of, again, coating services that are offered for pretty much everything BMW related. So we'll have all the pricing. So I'll be like over here, yeah. pricing right there. So check that out. Um, we're also doing keys on E chassis and F chassis. Uh, we're still kind of new to it. We're only doing drop-offs right now because I'm still getting into it. Still kind of learning the workaround on that, but that's why our pricing is very good deals. You know what I'm saying? But you gotta jump off the car. Without further ado, it's gonna have to conclude the video again. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm super happy to be able to bring this service to you guys because a lot of you guys have been asking for all these years. It is finally here. Without further ado, Porsche content next? Yeah. Let's drop some Porsche content.